equality uh, so 20 and if we just refresh this you probably uh, one sec let's just do a bit of modding here uh, of course we forgot to add a line break so let's just add two line breaks there and then of course put desired password here okay now if we look at this then you're probably wondering what's the difference you know I type here and oh there we go so you can use password types I instead of text types uh, to ensure no one can like a, well I believe it's called shoulder surfing or uh, screen hacking or s shoulder hacking where someone looks and sees what password you're typing in uh, we can stop this by using or at least deter it by using the password type when uh, typing in a password so in a login or when you're registering for a password when you're registering for an account sorry and you have to put in a password and the login for the password both those will be password types so no one can accidentally uh, well, sorry not accidentally of course no one can uh, um, I forget the word but no one can shoulder surf or screen hack or whatever you want to call it um, Okay, just a couple more to go left. Uh, let's put in uh, our line breaks again. Um, oh, and before I carry on, you can in fact set a default value in this text box. So you can say value equals uh, name here, please. Oops. And if we just save that. Oh no. Did I do something wrong? I believe that works. Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of JavaScript. Sorry, <laughs> getting myself confused here. Um, I, I think there is somewhere though. Uh, I've forgotten it. You'll have to look that up yourself, I'm afraid. Anyway, on to the next input type. If we just type in our input tag here again. And then go in, type equals checkbox and then we're just gonna say uh, we're gonna name it uh, favorite color and then here is where values will uh, we need to have a value because if we just put um, if say we have uh, three checkboxes and we're asking what their favorite color is whether it's red green or blue uh, actually we use a radio button here but uh, just as an example let's use this um, so if we just call this uh, if we name it favorite color we have to name all three favorite color remember because they are all the favorite color if we don't give it a value of uh, one of the three colors let's just copy and paste this here okay if we save this here and okay so uh yeah uh we have to put in the uh, colors of course so red green and blue okay so here we go we've got our three colors and um if we tick this what's it, what it's going to send when we use our action and our method of course using the we'll get round to that the submit input type but uh back onto this what's going to happen is it's going to send it's going to say um it's probably going to send it and it's going to say favorite color equals and then it's going to say null or something because we didn't actually specify a value in the html so let's just uh space value equals and then we just type blue and then for this one we do the same but instead we type green, because this is green.